Hey, Jamie Stanhouse here, currently in Sydney tonight, and I want to discuss and share with you what to do when things get hard and you don't feel like doing the things you know you should be doing in order to get to where you want to be and how I personally overcome that. So with any objective in life, any goal, anything we're keen to achieve, there's going to be a certain element of action items that we need to execute on in order to get to where we want to be. However, as humans, we don't always feel like doing them. Sometimes we feel like pro procrastinating. Sometimes we don't feel like doing the uncomfortable tasks that we know we should do in order to get to where we want to be. So how do you overcome that? Well, you can overcome it with brute force and try to force yourself to do the things you know you should be, if it be a health goal or if it be a client goal or a finance goal, anything like that. You can always force yourself to put in more time, more energy, more effort and just grind it out. And while I do endorse that a lot, it's a lot easier to work around the problem if you can. So what I like to do is I like to look at the things I need to do, if it be a health goal or a client goal or a personal goal, anything like that, and try to connect it to something I enjoy. So I'll explain this from a few different areas of my own life. The first time I began to utilize this was with my health goals. When I first began training, uh, I think six, seven years ago now, it wasn't like oh, I just began training instantly every single day. It, it was a very interesting struggle and an interesting learning curve to trick myself to get into the gym. So the trick that I use, and this does not have to apply just to your gym or to you know, your clients or to a certain area but as you're about to see it can apply to really anything and it is about tricking yourself to do the things that you do not want to do that you know you should do in order to get to where you want to be so the trick I use is I look at connecting the thing I don't want to do in this case it was going to the gym to something I do enjoy just something I do want to do and for me it was listening to music right? so I simply use the gym as an opportunity now to listen to music and in just having that hour per day where I was on my own I could listen to music was enough to get me to the gym for other people the reason they go to the gym when they first begin training is because they like to buy new clothes they like to buy all the new gym clothes all the new gym shoes all the new gym wear and just going to the gym and having that ability to show off their clothes even though they won't admit it is enough to get them to the gym right and that's just from finding something that they enjoy and connecting it to something they do not enjoy so for me going to the gym I didn't enjoy at the time so I used that as an opportunity to listen to music and that got me going to the gym and when that didn't work so much I then began to use pre-workout which was a caffeine hit that got me to the gym and also got me hooked to caffeine years ago which is not ideal but it got me to the gym anyway so begin to look at how you can trick yourself how you can, how you can connect something you enjoy to something you do not enjoy and we look at this from a client point of view, from a company point of view. If you're trying to grow your company or if you're an entrepreneur and you're like, man, I wish I could just work 10 or 12 more hours every week or you know what? I wish I, I could just have had the energy to work every Saturday and Sunday. Well, if you want to trick yourself again with that, you can use music. Again, you can trick yourself you know, by playing a certain playlist when you do client work on those days or if you like to be around other people then create a co-working environment either at a cafe on a Saturday and Sunday so that then those two days really be, become an opportunity for you to hang out with your friends which is something you enjoy but also tricking you to get to the place where you can actually win and you can actually do the thing you have to do. So for me, I never thought about the gym as a place to go train. I always thought about it as a place where I can go and listen to my music. And then when I got to the gym, I was like, well, I'm here now, might as well, may as well go train, may as well go listen to my music. With the client aspect, again, if you want to co-work, if you feel great when you're working around other people and that drives you, then you know, create a weekly hangout with you and your friends or you and other people in your industry whereby you might all catch up on a Friday night and you just do work or you trade ideas and that might give you enough energy just being around those people to actually do the things that you know you should do in order to get to where you want to be but you don't want to do them. So it's really all about tricking yourself, about giving yourself the opportunity to do something you enjoy while, while doing something you do not enjoy. So if you don't enjoy 
let's say healthy eating, but you enjoy cooking, then use cooking as an avenue to eat healthy. If you don't enjoy going to the gym, then maybe use purchasing clothes or purchasing, you know, caffeine uh, supplements as an avenue to get yourself to the gym. For me, it was music, and music is still a very big driver of my activity at the gym. If you see on any of my Snapchats or Instagram or really anything I put on, online when I'm at the gym, I've always got headphones on. That's not just a co coincidence or product placement, it's me actually using my tool that gets me to the gym even now to this day. So I always look at tricking myself by connecting something I do not enjoy, something I do enjoy, and then focusing on the thing I enjoy. So that's a little hack that I use pretty much for every aspect, if it be you know, client work, if it be my health, if it be my personal income, or if it be anything personal that I'm trying to achieve objectively, then I always look for what can I do that I'm going to enjoy while I'm doing this. Yes, the task that I'm doing, the thing that I actually have to do in order to get to where I want to be, I might not enjoy that thing at hand. However, what can I be doing while that's happening? What can I integrate into it? What other hobbies or habits can I tie into that? And then maybe that might be enough to trick myself to actually get to the place where I need to be in order for the things to happen. So try it out. Let me know your thoughts on that one. And that's it from me in Sydney tonight with the light behind me, which is quite cool. And good luck in tricking yourself to do the things you know you should be doing but you don't want to do in order to get to where you want to be.